Megan Sweet Surprise for Women's History Month turned into a lifetime movie. The Sussexes announced their decision to step back from royal life in January 2020. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex sent shockwaves through the celebrity and royalty world. When they announced their decision to step back from royal life in January 2020, and now Harry and Meghan's complicated split from the firm is being depicted in a lifetime movie. The network has greenlit the third film in their franchise, Harry and Meghan. Escaping the Palace, which will tell the story of why the couple decided to break away from the royal family, and start a new life for themselves and their son Archie. It will also look at the rift between royal brothers William and Harry, the two duchesses and Harry and his father Prince Charles. The film, which is slated to air this autumn, will also focus on Meghan's growing feelings of isolation. Harry's fears that history would repeat itself and the couple's disappointment that the firm did not protect them against hurtful press attacks. Casting is currently underway, with production set to begin this spring. Lifetime has previously released two films about the couple, Harry and Meghan. And the royal love story, which aired in 2018 just a few days before the royal wedding, and Harry and Meghan. Becoming royal, which came out the following year and looked at the newlyweds' first year of marriage. Murray Fraser and Parisa Fitzhenley starred in the first film, while the Charlie Field and Tiffany Smith took over the roles in the sequel. As with the two previous films, and the Royals director Min Huda is signed on to direct. While Meredith Finn and Michelle Weiss are executive producers. Scarlett Lacey, who co-wrote the original and the sequel, will also return. Earlier this month, Harry and Meghan made headlines when they sat down for a tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey. During the CBS special, the Sussexes, who are expecting a baby girl this year, made all sorts of revelations. Including that they had exchanged personal vows just days before their actual wedding. That Prince Charles had financially cut off his son and been dodging his calls. That the Duchess of Cambridge actually made Meghan cry ahead of her wedding, and not the other way around as previously reported. And most shockingly, that certain members of the royal family had questioned Archie's skin colour before his birth. Meghan Markle is sharing something sweet for Women's History Month with a homegrown twist. The Duchess of Sussex baked a lemon olive oil cake with lemons from her garden in Montecito, Calif. As part of a meal provided to a group of women in Chicago by Archibald Foundation. The non-profit founded by the Meghan and Prince Harry in partnership with World Central Kitchen. We hope you enjoy the offering we baked for your small token of thanks, from our home to yours. The Duke and Duchess wrote in a letter addressed to several of the women who participated in the meal. The surprise treat honored the couple's commitment to acts of compassion throughout Women's History Month this March. Our hope with this effort is to show that, when we all participate, even the smallest actions can have a ripple effect. The couple wrote in the letter. Even individual actions can impact the whole of us. In the time that World Central Kitchen, WCK, has been feeding people in Chicago since the pandemic began, they have served nearly 500,000 meals. Today, Dory of the YWCA Metropolitan Chicago which has distributed 60,000 meals with WCK. And Sarah, co-owner of Fatchalot Restaurant, shared a safely distanced lunch with women picking up meals. The group shared in a tweet recognizing women from the YWCA Metropolitan in Chicago, and the local Fatchalot restaurant, both of whom have helped feed the community throughout the pandemic. Megan has a personal connection to Chicago, having spent her college years at nearby Northwestern University, where she double majored in theater and international relations. Meanwhile, the lemon cake isn't the first time Megan has shared a treat from her recipe file. During the couple's tour of Australia in 2018, Meghan brought homemade banana bread to a family-run farm in Dubbo. Meghan was also the driving force behind the 2018 charity cookbook, Together. Our Community Cookbook, which, which features recipes from a group of women whose community was affected by the Grenfell Tower fire. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.